Well, the men of Khmer is an important one for me. We, we when that strike occurred, we went. Um, Alan Musgrove was actually part of uh, Currency Folk at that stage, which might sound odd to you, but uh, as I say, it's had lots of different members over the years. And we we actually did a uh, a, a little appearance up at the at the um, at the Pithead when they came up one time. But the, the, that seemed important maybe because they had sacked 10,000 workers in Wollongong during that period and that's a huge amount in a town that's what 200,000 people all told you know and, and you sack 10,000 men in, in a short space of time and I'm, I'm, in virtue they were all men you know, at that, that stage and I'm not I mean that doesn't there would have been lots of other people in, in sort of related industries who were, were sacked also, but that's virtually BHP. And the nobody could, you couldn't do anything about it. I mean, it was just, the workforce was just passive. They, they couldn't, the resistance was virtually impossible. In fact, all the unions were really fighting for at that stage was um, good redundancy payments. You know, they couldn't save the jobs anymore. Mm. Now what happened with Kamira was the when, when they they refused to accept that, and they they arranged the sit-in. The the protest was was well, it actually it it, it captured the consciousness of, of Wollongong workers, I suppose. Round Wollongong at that stage, you could see written up uh, signs like "Don't cop the chop," which is you know mm. perhaps not the greatest piece of the tree. It's still mm. being, yeah, it's mm. but it's it's it's, it's it was around the place. You can still see it outside the steelworks down at the Spring Hill Road gate. There's still a, you know, they've tried to rub it out, but it's still written there. And um, the, it, it was a focus for their frustration. I suppose like like Streets of Forbes. I mean, the death of Ben Hall. It was something like that. It was a it was a way in which they could um, they could focus. Here were the the sort of the folk heroes. I suppose the people who were resisting what was happening to everybody else. You know, they were they were doing something about it. 16 days. I think the men, I, I spoke to somebody, an official from the miners' union, retired now, who's, who's quite important in those days, who regard, who, who sees them as as being overly resentful now, those men are not appreciating what the union did for them. But in a way, I think they that they had hoped to, to achieve a great deal more. But what they did achieve, launching that march, did assert that uh, there are limits to what working people are prepared to accept, and I think that was that was an important thing to to assert. And I think that should be remembered. That uh, what those people did then should stand as a rallying well cry, I suppose, the same as, as say the um, the Shearers strike and things like that, where where you know people just said that's enough you know if you're going to do this to us we're going to resist and uh, you may have to pay the consequences and uh, so you know it was a very important issue to me um i should have actually with that that song i i when i i, I sang that for um tom zabricki made a movie of that uh which was a great movie actually really great and um he rang me and asked me to. He was playing it down here. He played it for the miners, and uh, I I sang that at the at the launching of the movie. It was well received, but the, a comment was made. What about the women of Khmer? And that's something that I just uh, not knowing the union as, as well as not knowing the miners' union as uh, as well as I would have liked to. I should have, although I did research the song before I wrote it. I didn't realise how important the women's auxiliary was in uh, in maintaining minor strikes. You know, I, I remember being involved in uh, uh, up in uh, Gladstone in Queensland in, in strikes on the aluminum refinery up there when I was uh, working up there at one stage years ago, 15 or more years ago. And uh, there was a big electrician strike and what beat it in the end was the pressure from the homes, you know, the, the wives essentially and the family not being able to support the family. So I, I, my sort of idea of, um, of um, 
of strikes still had that sort of stereotype where there's sort of the you had the sort of um, men out in front sort of thing and the, the, there was a pressure from home to sort of bring the strike down, mm -hmm. whereas in fact that isn't the, mm -hmm. the way it is with the miners, it's, uh, it's different. So when are you going to write women of colour? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I've, always, I've actually, I have tried to think of how to fit into another verse, but I, I just don't, you know, it, I can't see how to get it in, but I know that that's that's one of that's one of the things about folk songs. One of the things about um, uh, the cultural base of them. I mean, I, I wrote uh, that song about Bobby Sands about Ireland when I was over there. I think I've got that right, but I've seen so many songs written about about say Australia by people who aren't Australian or. Um, uh, read about references um, to other cultures by people you know, who didn't belong to them, who didn't understand them properly, and, and I think that's that's something about uh, about the folk song that you have to. Um, it's it is very strongly culturally based, and if you don't understand the culture, you know, if it isn't sort of part of you, then, then um, yeah, it's that thing about the the personal. As as distinct from the uh, you know, the, the sort of the group thing, mm -hmm. so uh, that's a mistake I made with that one. I didn't I didn't fully understand the the, the contribution that women made to the to the to the miners and their strikes. And I mean it's historical too. If you go back over the the Mount Kembla thing, the, there's a, there's a, a history of strikes around before and after that that disaster. The uh, and of course the women were vitally important, very much involved all the way through that, that with the miners. It's a mistake Sir John wouldn't make, I would imagine, because uh, his, uh, his experience has been with, with the mines, you know, and, that's, and I think that's, that's an important point. Mm.